Right, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where we discuss Dungeons and Dragons painted minis. Yes, this video is a sort of an interlude, if you like, between season 2 and season 3. And as a matter of fact, we received a latest addition to painted minis for our uh, collection of D&D board games. Um, and as you can tell, we have three boxes uh, fully painted. We will go through these minis because what I'd like to show you is how these um, figures, these minis, turned out to be. Um, you might, if you're familiar with the game, especially with the oldest, older sets like the Ravenloft and Shardalon, the quality of the WizKids minis <laughs> is, I would say, below average quality of the minis from different, from other games, from other dungeon crawlers or any other games that contain miniatures. However, um, I got in touch with this fantastic artist who created something special out of these and I'm really, really happy with the results, as you, as you will see in just a moment. Uh, for what he's done, for what he managed to achieve, is, is something absolutely fantastic, you know having in mind the, the quality of the of the plastic. Some of these minis are not even solid. They are they're rubbery and bendy and wobbly. We were quite worried about um, the final outcome, but as you'll, uh, as you'll see in just a moment, there's nothing to complain about. Right. This video will also uh, include a sneak peek into the third season of Dungeons and Dragons, the board game. And I'll tell you all about it at the end of this video. Right, so without any further ado, let's move on to the very first game in the series, which is Castle Ravenloft. You can see <laughs> the logo right there. But let's start with the big guy, with the big bosses. Okay, so you have the Dracolich right there, the skeleton dragon. And you know, if you if you if you're familiar with it, with these uh, with these games and the miniatures, they look kind of bland out of the box. Well, the majority of minis look kind of bland, apart from Games Workshop <laughs> and Kingdom Death Monster, I would say. If they're not coated, painted, or even primed, but these look at them, bony, you know, skeleton dragon, Dracolich himself. We actually fought him in one of the earlier episodes, um, but he was uh, he wasn't painted back then. I, I'm I, I'm sure we will come back to hunt him to hunt him again. Right, let's let's check out the other bosses right there. Okay, another uh, zombie dragon. Is it a zombie dragon? I can't recall all these names. Yeah, it's a zombie dragon. A good thing about the earlier releases of D&D, uh, &D, the board games, is that all these miniatures are named on the basis. I think they stopped doing it from Tomb of Annihilation, something like that. But they, they, the early uh, releases, they all contain the names. And it's quite easy to allocate them to their original boxes because they have icons representing the, uh, the set they came from. Anyways, we have Cluck over there and a werewolf. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Um, the um, the big guy himself, and <laughs> there you go. All right, howling hag in the back, the flesh golem, which uh, we were defeated by in in one of our previous adventures. You might have uh, checked it, checked these series on the on the channel, which I highly recommend and encourage you to do so. Right, some skellies, skeleton warriors, if I recall correctly. There you go, accompanied by ghouls. And again, um, I was I was I was um, kind of worried and uh, waiting in anticipation to see the final result. But what he managed to pull off with these figures is just fantastic. Look at the zombies, the original Castle Ravenloft zombies. They look absolutely fantastic. Yeah, gargoyles lurking there in the back with their red eyes staring at you. Nasty little things. Difficult to fight, quite challenging, quite challenging enemies. Right, move, moving on to some spiders. Okay, there you go, some spiders. Wolves, a pack of wolves. Swar Rat swarm. Is it the spiders? No, the spiders are in the drizzit, I think. We'll come to that. 
kobolds with their spiky spears right there. For a tiny rubbery miniature like that, I have to say the result is 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 great. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look at our heroes from this set. We have a cleric warrior, the dragon. What's his name again? What's your name, mate? Uh, Ar Arjin? Dragonborn fighter, anyway. So, yeah, we have a cleric right there with his white cape. Okay. A rogue, a sorcerer, a wizard. Yeah, of some sort. Oh, and we have some, you know, translucent figures there. Miniatures, which we uh, decided not to paint because we were quite worried about whether <clears throat> whether the result would be uh, would be satisfactory. But what I decided in the end that um, I might keep the wraiths unpainted, but I'll go for the skeleton wizards, sorcerers, blazing skeletons. That's it. That's what they're called. Uh, we might paint them next time we uh, we catch up with the other boxes. So there you are. Let's zoom out to check out the entire Castle Ravenloft set. There you go. And let's move on to our friend Ashardalon. Right. Let's have a look at him. Okay. There he is in his glory, <clears throat> sitting on a rock with his tail wrapped around it. Let's look at his wings. Nicely detailed wings. Okay, let's turn them around so we can have a look. There you go. And I have to say that this is my favorite set so far. You will see why in just a moment. Look at this guy. Yeah, he looks like a, you know, he came out of lava, Rage Drake. Yeah. Um, so there he is. We have the bosses from the set. There is this chieftain right here. Yeah. <laughs> the main bosses. Oh, and we uh, we came to one of my favorite miniatures from this set. Not the, not the most favorite, but one of them, top three. Um, you know, when you look at this uh, uh, miniature, unpainted, it's bland, it's boring. Uh, it's an interesting concept, but you could not tell all these details. So what this guy has done for, for them is absolutely fantastic. You know, the, the, the eyes, the mouths, the teeth, everything is absolutely fantastic about these gibbering mouthers. I love them. I really do can't wait to play against them. And they are quite tough opponents uh, to face on in the dungeon. Now we have the growls. Look at them. The brains, <laughs> the beaks. Fantastic miniatures. Yeah, And I really like the paint job on them. It's just... Uh, different angles like that the pack of bears i really like how he pulled off the you know the brown you know, the light brown and the dark brown colors on the fur the teeth and everything these bears became even more vicious they are also a a reasonable uh, reasonably tough opponents to um to come across in the dungeon and now we come to my top one favorite miniatures from the Ashardalon set, which are the cultists. I mean, when I looked at them, I was like, hang on a minute, these, these aren't the original miniatures, are they? They are, actually. What he managed to pull off with the colors, the skulls, the details, and if you look at his face, you can, you can tell his face right there. When you look at it unpainted, it's just the blob of plastic. Right here, it's something fantastic. Really, really like them. Another another great mini that um, came to life with all these details are these snakes. Look at them. Look at these snakes, how they turned out to be. Fantastic choice of colors, details. Everything is in the right place. Absolutely love them. We have some charging orcs, as they always do in their, in their scale armor. Great details. Okay. Let's move on to <clears throat> some dwarfs and kobolds, and then we will conclude the set of enemies with the infamous Legion Devil. There they are, tough buggers. They spawn in the whole pack at the same time. 
quite difficult to uh, defeat actually, quite tough and they deal quite a lot of damage. Orc archers in the back. We also have some of our heroes here from, from this set. I like what he's done with the cape for the dwarf lady. Uh, that's the Vistra. Yeah, her name is Vistra Dwarf Fighter. So she turned out to be absolutely fantastic with all the details. We have Quinn right there, um, Caleb the Paladin, and of course Hesken, our wizard, in his fiery cape, fiery, yellowy, reddy, <laughs> dragony colors. Absolutely fantastic. We might actually pick him for for future uh, quests sometime. Right. So that was. Uh, Shardalon. Last but not least, we have the Drizzet set. Okay, with Baylor accompanied by trolls on his side. So, have a look at Baylor. I also like how he uh, turned out to be with his quite detail. I need to, you know, keep it here, otherwise, he will fall off the shelf. So, Baylor himself, I've actually, I've never managed to. Uh, Come across him in the dungeon. We might um, pick one of the one of the quests to hunt him. We'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, then we move on to some mini bosses uh, sh or main bosses as well. Shimmergloom, our dragon here. We have some other bosses that we can come across in different quests in the Drizzt set. All right. Then we move down to some regular enemies, duelists right there, some drakes, the pack of kobolds, uh, the cutthroats and the archers right there in the back. Goblins, I think, not kobolds, sorry. Goblins, of course. And then we move on to our heroes and some remaining, some remaining enemies or a random troll from a different pack of miniatures, uh, two types of Drizzets, <laughs> right? twin brothers, one like that, the other one like this. This is a custom, uh, I think he just uh, dropped it in the box as a, as a bonus. So we have two Drizzet miniatures, uh, some spider swarm here, uh, some elementals, uh, more ghosts, what are they called? Wraiths, hypnotic spirits, there you go. Um, yeah, we have some heroes right there in the back. All right, so there you are. This is the collection so far. Next in the line is Temple of Elemental Evil for, for the paint job to be done. Hopefully uh, the, the set will arrive in mid-January or something like that. And then we can, we can continue with our progression videos uh, if, you, if you enjoy uh, this one, then please let me know in the comment section below. Um, right, so a final flyover, <laughs> if you like, through the minis and bosses and enemies. Again, these guys, I mean, absolutely fantastic with, with these details. And then let's zoom in on, on the cultists as well. There they are. There you go, there you go. Three boxes, three sets, completely painted, ready to play. And what is it that we're going to play? I'll be right with you. Right, so we're back again at the table. We cleared off the minis and ready to kick things off with Legend of Drizzt Adventure. And this time I decided to go for adventure number three from the adventure book, Hunt for the Shimmer Gloom. Okay. So I'll go through all the details once we actually kick things off with the mission. I'll tell you all about it. It's, it's a pretty straightforward hunt mission. We need to go deep into the dungeon to find a lair in which Shimmer, well, rocky lair to be precise, in which Shimmer Groom, Groom, Gloom, <laughs> our dragon sleeps. Okay, so we need to find him. That's his AI card, which we'll go through in detail once we actually come across his lair later on during the adventure. Let's talk about our heroes. We changed the heroes uh, from different, uh, from previous, uh, from previous season and, and, and the quest. Well, one thing is that they all died <laughs> at the hands of uh, the flesh golem and his, uh, and his minions. So we have our 
party of adventurers. So of course, as with any D&D adventure, you have the, the mage, the cleric, the warrior, and the archer, the ranger. Who are they? Let's have a look. Thorgrim, dwarf cleric. Caleth, elf paladin. Of course, Katibri, our ranger, archer, and our wizard, Imero, right? Um, we're playing with all sorts of uh, additions, expansions, different decks. We're playing with all monster decks mixed together from six boxes. So this is the entire stack. It's been shuffled, ready to be played. Same with treasure and encounters. So this is what you get when you mix all six together. I also have a lot of custom made uh, decks that are mixed in there. Or they somewhere on the side can't see it actually need to check off camera where they are we're also playing with all sorts of different uh, room events deck decks these are created by ninja dork tristan hall himself available all of these are available on uh, bgg forums and i highly highly encourage you to do so if you enjoy playing D, &D uh, board games because they bring in so much flavor um, and, and atmosphere to the game all sorts of different encounters, treasures, and monsters, and things like that. They tweak the gameplay uh, reasonably, reasonably uh, well to give more flavor to to the entire uh, experience. So I highly, highly recommend you to do that. I also mixed all the traps in the trap spot, like right there, and I'll be pulling traps from from here to to place on the. On the, uh, on the on the board. This is the deck of uh, dungeon tiles that we'll be going through and one of them is the rocky lair that we need to find to uh, wake the shimmer gloom and kill it. So that's what it is. This is a sneak peek into season three. I hope you enjoyed this little interlude video with um, painted minis and sneak peek to what's about to happen quite soon on the channel. Um, so there you are. Let's just zoom in on our adventurers who just entered the dungeon itself looking for Shimmer Gloom. Right, I hope you enjoyed it, this episode. Uh, please let me know what you think about uh, the minis in the comments and I'll see you in the next one shortly. Bye bye.